Kia ora koutou, ko Kutuaki, te manga, ko Rangataki, te awa, ko uh, Mātātua, te waka, ko Ngatiawa, te iwi, ko Sharon Toko uh, My name's Sharon and I'm the training manager here at Outward Bound in Anakiwa. I feel really privileged to work in this space. It's an amazing organisation with a lot of amazing people and uh, my journey to get here has included operating as an instructor here for around five years in the early 2000s after which I went away and uh, did some other stuff uh, both inside the outdoor industry and, uh, and did some other bits and pieces and I've returned here now. If you're thinking about becoming an instructor I'd really like to encourage you to get in touch. A lot of the time I hear of people saying oh I don't have enough skill, uh, you know I'd like to do it but, um, but I, I feel really unsure. The only person that misses out by not getting in touch is you and actually here at Outward Bound we really enjoy diversity. We want diverse instructors, we want diverse ages and we want to encourage people to not write it off. We also recognise that coming to an organisation like Outward Bound depends on what stage you're at in your life and the timing needs to be right. We try to accommodate for people who are single and we try to accommodate for families and having that range of people working here is really important to us. We also are seeing a, a large diversity and range of students coming to Outward Bound and so it's really important that we have diverse staff that can interact with, with different students. So I think uh, you'll see some other videos from some of the from some of the instructors that are working here. And I encourage you to, to hear what they have to say, and I encourage you to get in touch uh, because we'd love to hear from you, and we'd love to see more people coming through Outward Bound and uh, becoming instructors. So I don't know that I have anything else to tell you about other than it's an awesome place to work. Uh, it's a really supportive culture and we have a, a beautiful setting and really I think working here is about giving back. Uh, it's about giving back to other people and to allowing them to find a way to be their best selves when they're out there in the world and help them to gain some tools to make good decisions for their life. So if that sounds like you, along with a bit of hard work, come and check it out. Kia Kia ora everyone, my name's Jamie, I'm an instructor at Outward Bound. Uh, I've been here about a year and a half. Um, my background is uh, mostly on boats, um, came from an island, uh, background in sailing and in the Coast Guard and um, working on boats with an outdoor ad group up in Northland. Um, been here about a year and a half, it's been amazing. Um, I originally am from the US, uh, so that process looked like uh, initially getting a work visa um, and eventually um, working towards my permanent residency. Um, but yeah, if, if I had any tip for someone who's interested in being an instructor, I'd say um, get heaps and heaps of life experience before you come. Um, you know, on that journey, don't be afraid of all the little detours because um, they'll take you to places you might not expect you'd go. Um, for me, that's, that's coming here. Um, and yeah, just embrace, embrace those experiences. Kia ora, my name is Bridie Stuck and I'm from Miraway Beach up north in New Zealand. Uh, I've been here for four months now, so I'm pretty new to the instructing scene here at Outward Bound. Um, I did a week-long selection course in February earlier this year and now I've just completed my two months of induction um, and went into my first month of instructing last month. Um, I come from a background of studying outdoor education and I have a bachelor's degree and from there I've worked overseas um, and worked over on Great Barrier Island as well and I have a huge passion for whitewater kayaking. Um, and since being here at Outward Bound I've really enjoyed the community and the vast range of activities that we get to do uh, out on course throughout the months. Uh, kia ora koutou, ko Dave Taylor ho, uh, he kaya ko uh, ki te kura ki, ki konei at Anakiwa. Um, so Dave's my name, I'm an instructor here at the Outward Bound School at Anakiwa. Uh, I'm, I think I'm technically the oldest instructor they've had on board here and it's just been a real highlight of my life to come back. I has, have been a student at the school as well. 
uh, and coming back, I never dreamt that I would be an instructor here, but I've been surprising myself actually in the ability to keep up, uh, learn new tricks and deepen um, the skills and knowledge that I've acquired over my career. Uh, before coming to Outward Bound, I've had a lengthy uh, career with the Department of Conservation, Te Papa Atawhai, uh, in both operational and in a cultural uh, focus area. Uh, and both those streams of background have come into great use here at Outward Bound. Uh, I've been able to just bring my management experience, my operational skills uh, to the fore. I didn't have lots of technical background in, in uh, like here in the high ropes or in some of the other activities we do, but I've had to learn those things and it's been a wonderful thing to keep learning and growing personally. But I, at the same time, I've been able to bring the kind of background and my depth of experience and life uh, to this place and from what I can see and the feedback I get, that's really appreciated. One of the real highlights is um, in a fear I guess I had at the start was that the young ones I might struggle to connect with uh, our rangatahi, the sort of 16, 17 year olds, but I've been so surprised that it's so not like that and the connection that uh, they we collectively build together has been an absolute highlight of my time here. Uh, I think they feel I'm a bit, they call me koro or matua or whatever, but uh, it's just the connection we build um, together on these courses. And equally with the older students that uh, I was privileged recently to have the oldest ever at 84 come on a course. And just having, I think, a depth of that life background and experience myself uh, gives me some versatility to not only connect with the rangatahi but also the, the matua um, in our society. So yeah, if you're thinking about coming to work at Outward Bound and you think, oh, I might be past it, uh, have another thought because there's more in you, there's way more in you. Come and give it a go. Kia ora koutou. Kia ora guys, my name's Tristan. Um, I'm here with my beautiful wife and my two kids, um, the youngest of which was actually born here in Anakiwa. Um, before coming here, I guess my background is, is quite uh, away from the, the outdoor industry. Um, I started in logging and forestry and kind of stumbled my way into the to outdoor industry through guiding and uh, doing a bit of bushcraft, survival instructor type stuff uh, before, before coming here. Um, being here with the family uh, has been been an awesome step for us. Um, you know, going from the guiding lifestyle was seasonal, we're jumping around to having a bit of stability of being here for for three years has been awesome. Having this awesome community around us um, has just definitely been been a huge plus. It's really helped that there's um, other families here in the community at the time. Uh, it's just been a huge uh, support for my wife, whose family is actually quite um, a long ways away from here. Um, you know, what better place for a, to have a three-year-old and a seven-month-old than, you know, right here in Anakiwa where we've got the beach literally 250 metres away from a house with a creek where they can play, there's other kids that they can hang out with and they're so involved in the community and even coming down to work and I know the students get a huge kick out of, of seeing that we're, we're real people uh, with families and, and lives outside of work. Um, probably a bit of advice if you're coming here with a family is definitely coming to Anakiwa and, and checking the place out first, making sure that this is going to be a fit for both you and your spouse. The reality is that you do spend time away from, from home, um, but you know it's still a super rewarding experience and there's so much benefit to, to being here. Um, with all the time you do spend away from home, you also get a heck of a lot of time off and uh, that time for us as a family is invaluable. Shalom, I'm Nir, um, originally from Israel, um, living in New Zealand for the last five years now, um, resident. Uh, my, what I come from, I come uh, with a background of, um, I have a bachelor in uh, management and leadership of educational systems and I have a bachelor in history and I am, um, also have a teacher certificate. Coming to Atrobound, I came over with a probably a little bit different um, idea of what is an outdoor instructor. Um, in Israel, it doesn't really exist like that, uh, like in New Zealand. Um, but um, my background is mainly education, uh, working with uh, youth, um, doing woodwork with them, um, doing 
agriculture with them um, and of course some teaching. Um, I have also a background in uh, as a army in the army service, um, so that's lots of outdoor sea stuff that I uh, got from that. Um, I've been here in uh, at Ruban for three years, um, and I extended my contract for another year at least. Uh, live here with my family, with a beautiful wife and a beautiful beautiful daughter, um, and really enjoying the life here. Um, there is an amazing community. Yeah, just wish anyone who's coming here um, all the best. And um, um, what is special about this place is it's about growth and about wanting people to become the best self and more than anything else. So um, the outdoor qualifications or abilities is something we can learn, but um, the people is what is really important. So thank you. Kia ora my name is Laurel, I'm originally from Minnesota in the States and I've been at Outward Bound for just over two years now. I originally studied education and social justice at university, um, which put me on a path to working as a college and career counselor with immigrants in the States. Um, because I was working in the school system, I got the summer off and I went and worked at summer camp. Um, and it was through that experience that I realized that a lot of those things I had learned about and was trying to accomplish with my university degree um, I could make really tangible and real by working in the outdoors with youth. So from there I started looking for other job opportunities that would let me work in the outdoors all year round. I found a job working for a company that was based in New Zealand, um, guiding in South America. Um, and through them, got some training, found my way to Aotearoa um, and started hearing little snippets about this place called Outward Bound Anakiwa. Also met my partner, um, and we're now both working here at OB in Anakiwa. Uh, I've recently started duty managing here at Outward Bound, so I spend four months out of the year working as a duty manager and the other months in the field instructing. As a duty manager, I work with the management team to organize the logistics of the school, um, to help support instructors to run their courses, and also to help uh, manage or deal with any emergency issues that might come up, any challenging student issues, anything that might fall out of the scope or realm of an instructor's responsibilities. You're invited to apply for duty managing after you've been at Outward Bound for around two years, um, and it involves an application and an interview process. I really enjoyed the chance to be a duty manager during my contract at OB because it's helped me to continue to, to learn and to grow during my time here. Um, I've also found that it's helped me exercise some of my strengths and interests that might not be directly involved with instructing. I think OB is definitely an organization that, that values and empowers voices and opinions from all of its staff. Um, but as duty manager, you're given a little bit more um, of a direct chance to be involved in some of the bigger picture questions, um, to be involved in some of those conversations around how can we continue improving as an organization. When I first heard about Outward Bound, I, I was a little bit intimidated um, by the application process, by the prerequisites, um, and I really questioned whether, whether I had the skills and experience necessary. I think particularly coming from the states where we don't have um, perhaps as, as structured of a um, polytech system, we don't have the equivalent of in Zoya's. I wondered what my, my course or my journey could be like to get to a place like this. Um, what I've learned is that yes, it's taken a huge amount of hard work um, to get myself up to a level, level of being competent and confident in a lot of our hard skills. Um, but what I've also recognized is what makes us a really strong organization is, is we really value a, a diversity of strength and knowledge and backgrounds and, and that's what makes our organization really rich and what allows us to give a really awesome experience for our students and so what, what I would say to people who are interested in applying um, is, is recognize the individual strengths that you have and, and if you are passionate about something and, and you want to serve youth and you want to bring that passion to make a difference um, there's so many different ways to fit that into the Outward Bound Kopapa um, and into this organization. Um, so give it a go, give it a chance, you never know what might happen and, and that diversity of instructors that come into this place are what make it such an awesome place to be.